Welcome to uh, Get Into Fighting Games special episode. Every once in a while, this is the third time we're doing it. The newcomers. We are uh, joined by a special guest today. This is Josh. You, you didn't tell me where to look. I don't. <laughs> should I be looking at a camera at your face? <laughs> you can Down. look at my face. That's a camera. That's a camera. That's a camera. There's a camera that, there. That's your There's camera. There's a camera okay, there. That's my yeah. camera. A... Yes. There's a camera right here, buddy. Take a look. Uh, this this over here is my friend Josh. Been uh, uh, a while. We've known each other. Going mm -hmm. back to the college days. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever you, we all know, we all know the same people and have had, yeah, pretty much, uh, various, uh, creative endeavors over the years. We did, uh, two episodes of Wooly We'll Figure It Out mm -hmm. talking about some comic projects that we worked on back in the day. And, I get uh, depressed when I think about them, but thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, don't pretend that there's not <laughs> stuff happening, but you know, regardless. Yeah. When it happens, it will happen. We figured it out. All right. We figured it out. Everything worked out just fine. Also, I would say had a pretty uh, significant role in getting me into mecha shit. Oh, I would yeah. say that uh, you've had a, a, a definitive role as, as pushing me in the... I, I believe the words were, dude, come on. Just watch three episodes of Gren. <laughs> three ep I'll buy you dinner. It's fine. Three episodes. It's all I Even ask. Even before that, like, you know, like just... Robots in general. I mean, I remember getting into Gundam, getting two into episodes of Mazen Kaiser, mm -hmm. and you looked at me and you just said, "I didn't realize." And for a moment, I thought you understood, and then you, you finished your sentence and said, "I didn't realize how dumb it would be." <laughs> like I thought, mecha anime were like serious, like like Ava Gundam stuff. I didn't realize it was just two robots beating the shit out of each other. Well, we were both recommended Vagabond at the same time. Yes, right, and but we started. Uh, and yeah, but I read. Who was it. first? Who was first? I, 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 did. I was. I was. And I read it. I'm like, oh yeah, this is my favorite manga. That's yeah. You no, know. you were handing me volumes as they came out, and you were just looking at me like, please, <laughs> <laughs> like, like with religious fervor. Like, I need you to read this for you, not me. Okay. Now here's the other thing, and this came around way later. Maybe 15 years ago, you were like, dude. Legend of the Galactic Heroes, please, before I die, <laughs> please. And I was like, yeah, sure, and you 110 said, okay, episodes. What's, okay, dude, what's it about? And I just said, it is about the Legend of the Galactic Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> what a god. <laughs> wow. The best anime I've ever watched in my years on this earth. Freak, not even remotely oh. contested. It's the best thing that's ever been made in the medium, in my in my opinion. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Can we talk about the Digimon years? <laughs> we don't have to talk about the Digimon years. Okay, this is what I will say. I used to be really into Digimon. Yeah. Uh, I was like super, super like introverted in high school, and it was just a thing I got really into. I didn't know how to socialize, and yeah. so every conversation had to be about Digimon. Had to be. Had to be. And so when we met each other in college, I was like, hey, you're pretty cool, but you got to turn that off. <laughs> yeah. I, I said to multiple me. people I... that bully may have saved my life because he didn't ignore it and he didn't bully me. He just said, oh, dude, no, it's great. Love it. Love it. Yeah, no. Graymon. Awesome. Just turn it down. Not every conversation. Just that's it. That's it. The rest of what we're talking about yeah. here is great. We're doing good. Everything's fine. Uh -huh. Just... And just turn that down and by down i mean off <laughs> <laughs> the name of the show in general is get into fighting games and like the kind of idea behind the show is that like it may seem intimidating but it's actually not that bad um the best way to get into fighting games is to just pick them up and press buttons right just start messing around and start picking things and seeing what's cool have fun find something that you like in it you have played some fighting games I've played before a couple of fighting games Okay. But I've never played a fighting game. Right. I see. Um, I know, like, going back to our, like, uh, our college years, like, you've always been, like, really, uh, you, li you like what Guilty Gear has going on. Like, the style and the aesthetic and the... It's weird because I don't actually, I never liked playing Guilty Gear as a game. Mm -hmm. I found it impenetrable. Mm -hmm. But I just love everything else. Yeah. With all my heart about yeah. Guilty Gear. The music, the art, Whereas the feel. Whereas something like Third Strike or Garou, I can play all day. Right. And it's like, oh, this is fun. So that's the thing is like, I, I feel like, yeah, you are 
you represent a large part of the people that also like pay attention and, 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 and watch our stuff, which is like people who are like, yeah, I've touched here and there and like admiring the genre from the outside kind of thing and being like, yeah, no, those are cool games. And like every once in a blue moon, you know, it'll be like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll try that out or something. But for the most part, it's uh, there's games like this, for example, Dragon Ball Fighters, where you're you saw this come out. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, Dragon Ball is cool, but. I'm not going to play it. Mm. It's not like I'm going to buy it. I'll play it for like one day and then be like, yeah, that was cool. Like, mm. get me to feel what you feel when you play a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if one day is enough to do that, but I, I hopefully, you know, you can show me the passion of a man who took a two week vacation from work to learn Street Fighter 4. <laughs> yeah. Again, uh, we can't do that in a couple of hours. It's going to take a lot. <laughs> It's going to take quite a bit more, uh, but we can start somewhere. We can take some baby steps and hopefully other people can can relate to that. So so step one, um, would you like to try a stick or, or do you want to play with a pad? Well, how do you feel about that? It doesn't matter. It can go either way. Give me the stick. Stick? Wow. All right. Sick. It's it very cool. To hit buttons. Okay. You want to touch buttons. To I love that buttons. sound. Very cool. But yeah, just so you know. You can go either way these days. It really doesn't make a difference. Do yep. controllers get better? or uh, Basically, controllers are functionally fine given, like, there's not much you're going to be able to not do uh, from one to the other these days. I remember some advice I got from you when, I don't know, we were like 20, and it was just fear the man who shows up to a, con a Street Fighter tournament with a gamepad. I mean, that's the thing is that... That is forged in fire. That dude has gone the opposite way and has trained doing what other people have not doing, have not been doing. And like has things like, for example, uh, using the thumbstick to do like a 720 in a fraction of a second. Like walking, standing 720s instantaneously, right? Like they're getting those really insane moves by just doing things like that. Has that anyone just... I, okay, so I know like... The stick is the tool for the fighting game. It, Has anyone tried to innovate on the stick? Absolutely. In fact, uh, the current like latest thing that you're that you're going to see at tournaments is not a stick anymore. It is what you call a hitbox. Yeah. Right. A uh, leverless stick. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you an example of one. This is not exactly the same, but it's close. I have something right here. This over there is a mix box. Which has WASD instead. So that can you, can you show them on the camera what that looks like? Uh, well, there you go. Ah. It is a stick without an actual stick on it, right? And so if you put your hands on both like a keyboard, Ooh. right? WASD. Ooh. So some people really like that. Now, what's more popular than that is instead of the keyboard layout, is just um, four buttons that look like the punch and kick buttons. Hmm. What that allows is for people to, for one, if you play fighting games your whole life, some people have wrist pain. If you have wrist pain, this motion is not going to be really good for you. So people have been switching over to that to be less stressful. And now it's more like a keyboard and you're just kind of typing, right? Um, what it allows you to do as well is like, you know how, like, for example, in Street Fighter 2, to do a sonic boom with Guile, right. back for two seconds on the stick, then you hit forward and punch, right? Mm -hmm. um, with... The buttons exactly. You don't. You can just hold the back button, and then as soon as you're ready, you tap the forward button. And like technically, that's faster than going from here to here. Less error prone. Exactly. There's no. There's no middle space neutral input mm. before going forward. So like at a super competitive level, the fact that I can do a little bit of a faster sonic boom makes a difference. Okay. You know. But uh, I can feel that like it's going to be harder for most people to adapt. But like I can see the benefit already. Yeah. Any new peripheral, you need to take the time to get used to it. You know, like so, when I switched to like pad to stick, it took me like three months, six months to like be able to do every motion and learn the game and not think about the stick anymore. But mm -hmm. afterwards, it was all all positives. You know. Uh, so you got some headphones there to to hear the game as well. Okay. And now, and then that's your mute button. If you ever have big to. Big button. Yep. Yeah, if you have to see. cough. Or, you know, cough, sneeze, slur. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
was gonna say. Do you have like a master? Do you have like a master dump button? Where it's just like, I'd like to take a moment to talk about. Nope. Nope. <laughs> We can go like learn the rules of like how to play and stuff, but I was I, I'm like just go out to practice, pick some characters and press some buttons, okay. just yeah. okay. see what it I... feels like. So uh, if you uh, hmm? hold the L2 button, you can then uh, go to practice. What a god! Wait, there you go. Ta talk to that uh, little attendant right there, and go to uh, begin training. Who are your favorite Dragon Ball characters, Josh? All right, let's see. Mm, Roshi's... Mm. I feel a deep empathy with the character, but... Um, <laughs> good father. Old man. Good yep, father. yep. You've got... This you one a couple sparks of joy. Yeah. <laughs> you've, now, if you, you've got about two Gokus per row here, so, you know, if you did want, there's uh, uh, more than enough Gokus to go around. What color of Goku do you want? <laughs> But original child blue, but yeah, uh, yellow. But, but here's what's fun too it's not like not just like recognizable and like super characters right over there. That's Janemba, fucking movie characters, you know, cooler. Like they got some, some, some picks in there. Um, so yeah, who do you who, who, who do you enjoy in the world of Dragon Ball? The Prince I want of evil Saint. Jotaro Kujo. You like Hit? I love Hit. Oh boy, I've, I haven't watched Super, I don't know anything about him. But I think who uh, I think hits super sick. He's what a pick! Evil alien Jotaro. Sick. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Good choice. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So you're gonna get matter yet? So not really, not yet. But what that is is you're gonna get to control. They're, they're gonna jump in and they're gonna do one of three assist attacks. So for now, it doesn't matter. You can just uh, go ahead. But, uh, yeah, you'll eventually be able to pick. So the fun thing about uh, how Dragon Ball is kind of set up is it's a 3v3, right? So three characters versus three characters, it's, which is very much like um, Marvel versus Capcom, you know, uh, and the way that game kind of gives you uh, three things to do, uh, three characters to worry about, which can be very intimidating and confusing, especially considering the strikers and the ability to call in assists and things like that. There you go. That that was one button, dude. Yep. You found the button. You found the button. Or, wait, is that how I get into fighting games? I just find the button and... <laughs> Unironically, yes. <laughs> you pushed buttons. The Those best way are to gonna happen. get the way to get into fighting games is to find the button and then press it a whole bunch. I, I'm not. I'm just pressing a button. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> this is the button. <laughs> that is indeed the button. Um, what I was gonna say is, uh, picking three characters is like very, can be very intimidating. But in this game, characters tend to have move lists that are a lot shorter than they are in other fighting games, right? So in uh, you know in Tekken, you have a move list that goes down a hundred, right? In um, a, a, a general fighting game, you might have a move list that has like seven or eight different moves on it. In this, it tends to be like three things. You know, and then like uh, a couple of unique uh, uh, abilities otherwise about the character. But by having there be less moves per character, it comes together to create like a complete character. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like there's like, sh like each of them are kind of like your your Voltron pieces coming together. Right. So and your team is. Do different characters specialize in different things. So there's sort of like characters that are always like your third pick. Yeah, so there are characters that are really like good at just it. having a Shoryuken, right? Like a, a, a thing that's like, get off me, leave me alone, get away. Some characters are really good at like uh, building up meter. Some characters are really good at spending meter and doing tons of damage, you know? And uh, people who are like, people who tend to require a lot of your meter are good as an anchor, which means the last character on the team who you're gonna use towards the end of the match to like do the most damage. So you could press light, light, light a bunch to do like that auto combo exactly. Okay. Um, you can also press like medium, medium, and you'll see like a different kind of combo as well. You know, and then uh, as you kind of noticed, calling in your assists, you'll either tap it for have to have one of them jump in or hold it to switch to that character. Um, and then the uh, the special button is going to be like your 
usually your fireball or your kamehameha. Something unique about your character, you know? So... Yeah, you can just like, and then you can go, uh, you can just kind of press buttons and mess around with them. Uh, you can do like light, medium, heavy, uh, you know, see how that looks. Do stuff. <laughs> push, push two buttons well, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can press button combinations together as well, see what happens. Something to note is uh, you can, uh, with, with most characters, do like a, you can do a double jump, exactly. You can kind of air dash in the air by going like forward forward or back back and things like that, you know. So, uh, you're gonna have a lot of real estate to play around with. But yeah, that's it. All right. Let's uh, go to the breakdown of the actual in-game rules. So, but yes, pressing oh your buttons. pressing Push the button up. does the combo. <laughs> okay. And you can you can use that. That's 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 important. Basically, when you wait, when you do like light, 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 it's gonna do an automatic combo. I okay. just figured out. Or medium, medium, or medium, 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 medium. We'll do a different automatic combo. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so let's try the battle tutorial out. So we set up your your buttons before, so that, that your light, your first three are all gonna be you know top mm -hmm. three buttons, and the bottom uh, three as well. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like your fly button and okay. then your throw quote unquote button on the last two. So okay. Put, uh, yeah, this is so, the throw, and yeah. this is the fly. If you press that button on its own, mm -hmm. at the end, that's gonna be your throw. Okay. So it's an unblockable attack, and uh, it launches them into the air. Um, if you do, an, if they throw out a regular attack, then it's not gonna work. But as long as they're not doing anything or trying to block, that'll work. Um, and then the other button, the fly button, is the most unique part about this. Go, yeah. <laughs> the most unique part about this fighting game is that uh, that super dash button, right? So it's the uh, bottom, the last button at the bottom, and it's gonna make you uh, dash from wherever you are on the screen towards your opponent. Yeah, this button. So it's all the way at the end there, exactly. So, so that's a dash that homes in on your opponent, and it goes through light projectiles. Yeah. So. Try this out. Go all the way to the back of the screen, mm -hmm. uh, and like, pr and press it from all the way, far, from, from all the way at the at, over there. There you go. So no matter where you are at any time, you can do that to just fly right up to your opponent, Dragon Ball style. That distance is pretty useful for like, if they're in the air and they're flying around and you can't really catch them, you press that one and then you'll be good to go. Even though you have a like a, that tracking flying button. Um, there's ways that that can be punished. So it's good to do regular dashing to get around. Because that big glowing, like, ah, flying at them is like something that, like, people can see it coming and then hit you out of it. So there's times when you want to just regularly dash. There you go. One, two, three. Light, medium, heavy. That's the, the ABCs. So most characters can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's... That's saying do light, medium, heavy, and then a fireball at the end. And when you do the medium, don't hold forward because it's going to do another move. It's going to do it overhead. There you go. One, two, three, four. Now these combos will work with every character as well. So fortunately, not just good, not just Goku. Man, doing fireball loops yeah. in the corner. <laughs> So yeah, that big slow, like double fisted mm -hmm. attack is uh it, it 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 only happens when you press forward and medium punch. And okay. it's an overhead, meaning uh it'll they have to block it standing up. If they crouch, it'll uh, it'll always hit them. Okay. And that's with every character. Yeah. Usually. It's hard to block everything on a reaction, but if you crouch block, mm -hmm. then you only need to react when they jump in the air. Or if they do an overhead. Okay. So in other words, like, if you are holding down back, you're not going to start walking backwards. Okay. You can just switch between crouching and standing. Okay. Yeah. And it'll be easier, since walking back is changing your positioning a lot, you know? So yeah, that's it. Perfect. And you learned how to do that. And so there you go. A little throw into, into air combo there. Oh uh, yeah, you can't do two in a row just like that, but hit them afterwards, too. Got him. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. All right, now just beat him up. Almost. Hey. Oh, oh he was ready. <laughs> he was ready. So those are the cool things. It's like, yeah, you can do a teleport attack and in Dragon Ball style, they can like see it coming and like hit it, you know? And the more you play, the more you start like getting used to things that you're seeing and then you're like, oh, what was that? And then you try to learn about that. The sound. So the sound of him about to teleport mm -hmm. is something you can like hear and react to. Okay. You, you know, and you can hear like, Zzz! and yeah. as soon as the, the instant transmission starts, you're like, ah, I gotcha. And you can, you can prepare a counterattack. Okay, special moves now. You got the basics down. Uh, now you're gonna start with the the Kamehameha. So that's yep, down to forward like a Hadoken, and your special button. So just to to, to, to explain the specials a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, if you do uh, a light, medium, or heavy version, they all go further. Okay. Right. So the light medium version goes short. The medium version goes medium. The heavy version, it, not, it doesn't just go further. It's also going to use uh, one bar of your special meter. Any okay. special moves you do with the heavy button will use a, a, a meter of super. Oh, excuse me. That's excuse me. Half bar. That has changed. Next on the tutorial, it's asking you to do uh, your level three, essentially. So you're going to you're gonna have to charge... Your your meter, which okay. was the uh, the two front buttons there, exactly. Oh, it's a super dash button, so it's heavy and special. Right? Heavy and special? I believe so, yeah. Okay, that's awkward on a stick, right? So that was your super dash button, right? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Use that to do it, and that's how you do your big uh, special moves. So by doing um, Hadoken. Or like backwards Hadoken, like down to back or down to forward with uh, your super dash button, okay. your your fly button. That'll be your your, your big specials so for most characters. Kind of like trying to balance when you unleash the supers to like find openings or. Um. So the best time to use supers would be at the end of combos, right? Okay. So you know when you do that, like the the throw, for example, you do like the the rush into them. You punch them up into the air. And then once they're in the air, you can do like light, medium, heavy, okay. and then a super, and it'll be okay. confirmed every time. So that's a really basic, 100% uh, certain way to land it. Now, the match is only over when all three characters die. Okay. So um, switching back and forth between them um, is pretty helpful because when, they're, when you switch someone into the background, they can heal the blue damage that they've taken on their life bar. Like you okay. see on Yamcha on the top right, he has some blue health. Mm -hmm. When he's in the back, he's gonna heal that. So the benefit for switching back and forth between teammates is you get to survive longer because people can heal while they're not actively fighting. It's a bit, it's it's a, it's a tricky to keep an eye on three life bars and you know, pay attention to all of that, but uh, oh, that's cool. don't worry too much about it. So. Ah, that's your projectile button usually, right? But when you <laughs> hold back, it does a reflect that will repel any attack. So yeah, this is a a, a mechanic that uh, is like unique as well, and it's it's pretty important. It's uh, holding back in fireball, and like any any of the little fireballs that come at you and anything like that, you just knock them away while you're blocking. You push forward and assist button. forward and assist. Okay. So. Do a crap. Yeah, just hold back right there. Excellent. Okay. That's it. So this lets you get out of some pressure when they're attacking you. If you're blocking, you can just say, No, I'm going to change my character. And you're going to come in with an attack. Let's say you're in the corner, you're about to die, and you know, they're, you're just blocking and you're, uh, you're trying to switch. That's one way to do it. How's all this information so far? Um. It's kind of overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yeah. Okay. No it's worries. Like, like, there's part of me that understands it, and a part of me that's going like, "It's just how the... do you do this on reflex?" Right. Right. So right now, I think uh, going through this list is just kind mm -hmm. of like introducing what exists, and then when we go to training mode after this, I'd say like you can mostly ignore stuff that you're not gonna that's gonna be too much, and focus on like. 
a couple things yeah. that are, that you just need to play and I have think, fun. Like I sort know? of remember this from the Strive tutorial, right? Where you can get through the Strive tutorial, yeah, and then it's gone after you like turn off the game. Yeah, it, it is. It is sort of helpful to know that like if you you're not maybe you're not doing the um the push blocking thing, mm -hmm. but maybe you see your opponent do it and you go like, oh right, I remember what yeah. I, that was. Yeah. So like. Even if you're not going to use all of this, it is just uh, it, it is helpful to be like, oh right, I know yeah, that exists. Like in the, game. the tutorial is good in the sense of like if I want to learn or if I needed to like be reminded. Yeah. But I feel like there's got to be like a lower level of play. For sure, and this is where uh, I would say that the game tutorial is not doing its best job by like separating that information mm -hmm. into something more digestible. You know. Uh, that's a big problem with how fighting games handle tutorials like, these days. I the onboarding say, process. I want to say there should be like a dum dum mode mm -hmm. that you can play forever, mm -hmm. and you can like fight other people online in like literally restricted mode. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> then you just say, okay, I want to go like one step further. One step up. And eventually you get to the like actually playing the game. So I know what you mean. I just want to do like a zoom out on the whole thing for a second. Yep. I just want to say that like. You're doing this as somebody that like is not used to these things, right? Right. But I guarantee you that if you go through this in one game, it will carry over to other games. Mm, like it, yeah. you're learning to block here, and the other game it's probably gonna be the uh, the same thing. Except if you're playing a game where you're blocking with a button, mm -hmm. then that's that's a new thing. But yeah. it's gonna carry over. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to jump. You're gonna have to crouch. You're gonna have to move slowly. Yeah. And the more you do it with different games that interest you, that pique your interest, and the more it's going to stick to you. Something but that not, you... Oh, go, yeah, go ahead. Finish, not go. only that, but you're doing the tutorial for one game right now. Yeah. And it is overwhelming. But mm -hmm. you're going to get back into the game. What I would say is do the tutorial again. Yeah. And you'll be like, okay, this I understand, this I understand. Oh, yeah, that thing was kind of weird. And do it as many th times as it takes Go back, play the game, yeah. play with people, talk to well, people, go I, back I think to the, the turn. part that gets me is like, like jumping and blocking is super easy. Yeah. Like you pick it up and yeah, it's every game does it. And once you got it, you got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it's everything else. Mm -hmm. It's the like unique stuff. The unique the stuff for the game. Work. Yeah. So uh, one thing I'll say to just interject, do it as many times as, as you need is like, not a lot of people are going to find that fun. Well, not as do. many times as you need, but just as a refresher. Because right. the second okay. time you're not going to look at everything like diligently. But this, what? Yeah. But to build on 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 what you're getting at there, something we talked about before uh, we started today was you mentioned you're like it'd be cool to be able to play a f any fighting game in general and kind of be like, oh, I'm comfortable, mm -hmm. right? And you th and I remember you mentioned that as something that you're like, yeah, that'd be a nice thing to be able to do, and. Uh, what you will notice definitely is that even yeah even just seeing these things that we're going through here you'll you'll see these same rules in other mm -hmm. fighting games up, yeah. coming back up you know like if fighting games were just like a generic character versus a generic character mm -hmm. everyone could master that one character mm -hmm. and you you'd probably see that higher level of play it'd be less visually interesting but mm -hmm. um, the fact that every character is different and you have to learn how to either play one or two or respond to all of them mm-hmm that's a huge ask for most people. It is. And uh, you will, like, there are games that kind of, like, specialize in that as well. But, like, you know, we, we play Go, right? Yeah. There's no character selection in that, right? You play, you put pieces on the board, and they represent, like, whatever you want to do right. with your pieces. But we both only have the same rules that apply to each other. Yeah. Um, that is definitely the part that is also very overwhelming is like you're going to be fighting against people and you don't know what their rules are and all of that. And so that's why I'm like your goal is not to memorize that stuff. It's just to have fun with the characters mm -hmm. that you think are cool. Yeah. It's also you like know? if you're playing chess or go, the way you get really good mm -hmm. is you have to learn patterns. Yeah. So you go, oh, are you trying that shit on me? Come on, bro. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I'm not a scrub. Right? Exactly. And yeah. you still have to do that here on top of everything else. Yeah, but you'll just get more comfortable with the 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 kind of autopiloting yeah. sort of like okay, just jump, avoid that fireball. All right, now I'm gonna try to press some buttons, you know. But like trying to get again like the mastery level of like knowing what every character can do to you and how to have the right counter is the journey of getting good at these games. Mm -hmm. So for starting, it's the only thing is just to just like pick someone you think is cool and just like do it. Do what you think is fun with them, you know? On stick, again. Uh, 
comfortable. Yeah. It's okay. Not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I wish that time. like the prompts updated. Yes, that sucks. Unfortunately, because. I was gonna say that, like, if you do, if you did feel like you wanted to switch back to pad, you can. It's okay. It, yeah, it, you going. know, you're going. Okay, cool. No worries. He's committed. Because I'm just, I'm looking at your hands, searching for the buttons, and I'm, yeah, like, I'm seeing that, like, knowing where, the, the muscle memory of knowing where to press is admittedly like another thing to overcome, and that's not gonna be a one day thing. One thing that definitely helps is like, yeah, keeping your hand on both, uh, and like, even when you're not pressing them. Like, instead of going back into a relaxed position, mm. keeping your hand on the stick and keeping your fingers ready over the buttons. And then, like, uh, by having... For me, what I like to do is I, I like keeping my one, two, three first fingers on the three buttons. Okay. And I put my thumb on that bottom uh, fireball button there. Mm -hmm. And then the only other movements you have to do are, like, moving your other... Exactly. Yeah. Moving the, the extra figures around to the other buttons. But those four buttons you're pressing the most mm -hmm. are always going to be at your command. Mm. So those are like your QWERTY row, you know? Or not QWERTY, your uh, home row, rather. ASDF, JKL, colon, yeah, yeah. on a keyboard. Let's pare it down to, like, three things that are important and three things that are, like, less important. We're back in training. Um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, there, there was a lot that they went over, but uh, what are the important things to remember? Well, uh, you've got two types of combos that you can do automatically. That's your light, light, light. Mm -hmm. Right? And that doesn't use a super at the end. Right. So, whenever you want to just attack and not use a super, do light, light, light. Okay. Or if you want to use a super at the end, do medium, medium, medium. Right? Um, now, it, you remember how you could call in an assist during your super to, like, mm -hmm. switch to your teammates? If that applies to doing the medium, medium combo as well. So if you press... Medium, 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 and then when the super's going, call, switch to your partners. Yeah, you can do. You can switch to them like that. So, that's one way to just be easy and stylish about you know uh, a super a, a combo that'll do more damage. The next thing is that super dash button. Definitely want to use that to to like close the distance when they're moving around. They're gonna be hard to catch. You know. Um, so here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, let's put the computer like on, okay. and just work on like catching them with the super dash, and then just like doing those combos. You know, the AAA combo and the BBB combo. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, it's okay. Got infinite health. Yep. And meter. There you go. There you go. Nice. Let's go! Practice, Practice makes, makes perfect. perfect! Let's go! Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright. When you're not close oh, to them, you don't- Oh my god. Nine, yep. Super dash, and you're- and do those combos. That's oh, it! AAA oh. -A -A and BBB. Take that. Nice! Oh <laughs> is that Dragon Ball or is that Dragon Ball? It's Dragon Ball. Right? When things are attacking you and the screen's going crazy, um, all I want you to think about for now is just like, fly and then get that AAA or that BBB and then use your partners, right? Right. Great. Um, now, in the background from that, mm -hmm. uh, I would just, I would say, uh, the vanish attack uh, right. is something really cool to use at any time as well. Um, and that was... Uh, well, that's medium and heavy. Do you remember which weapons? There you go. Yeah. So you can do that anytime. During a combo, not during a combo. And uh, the fun thing about that is, like, yeah, if you do it whenever, it can get you out of trouble. It can close the distance. It's another really fun way to just... Dragon Ball your way over to your opponent, right. and like if you do it and like uh, it's in the middle of an, a combo like that, they'll bounce off the wall like that. So exactly. Then when you come back off the wall, you can hit them. Or that that's a great time to do a super, right? Yeah, exactly. When you see your life about to die, okay, try to switch out mm. to another one. 
right? And try to keep that in mind before Let's go! your character dies. Oh, the meta from a couple seasons ago. <laughs> oh, no. Bardock turning Super Saiyan is from one dumb manga? Yes. And the debatably canon? The f when he sees the future, right? Well, no, oh. no. He gets sent to the past of planet Vegeta, defeats Frieza's ancestor by turning Super Saiyan, which causes Frieza's family to be terrified of Super Saiyans. Okay. Which, kind of dumb, but you get Super <laughs> Saiyan Bardock, and that's kind of cool, so... <laughs> Canon in your heart, if you want it, if you want to believe. <laughs> Do you remember those? So those, those, that was uh, four things, I think. Okay. So do this, but better to do that and this. Yep. And if you can do uh, this, this, and like that. <laughs> god, what a god! What a god! I can see it. Exactly. I can see. Right. It. Then you've got your two types of combos. The meter combos, the light me meterless, mm -hmm. and the and the and the yeah. medium meter combos. The light, 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 and medium, 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 medium for the meter. There you go, level three. And you do it backward with the super last weapon. And before you die, switch to your other partners. Okay. Cool. Got it. Everything else, don't worry about it. Fair enough. All right, let's play. All right, you're gonna you're fighting a normal difficulty computer right now. Don't shoot this man. He's not He's black. He's not black. You're right. Excuse me. I almost got that wrong. <laughs> How? Damn, what a mistake. Hey. I salute the voice actor for not just walking out of the studio. Not out of, like, moral indignation. Out of, <laughs> just, I can't, I, I can't. physically... <laughs> I will not, I, can't. I, I will I, not I have, not. <laughs> I, my, I will not have my resume stained. Yeah. <laughs> Let the intros rock, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, looks so good. You love GT. Stop pretending you don't love GT. You know, it wasn't that bad. Ooh. Oh, the computer is here to beat your ass. You better fight back. Alright, now. Remember, you need to gain your meter, and you can't change all the time. True. That stuff is infinite in training mode. You need to fight it out, this guy! Alright, now you might have to change yep. the actor. Yep, Piccolo's soon. near death. Can you get him out before you die? Okay, we live in. We live in. Oh my god, how are you gonna do? There, there you go. go. Nice. Okay, do not bring Piccolo back in for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> let 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 Piccolo heal. All right. All right. There you go. Super dash. That's it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Piccolo's back. Okay, he healed a little. He healed a little. All right. Don't forget your do. nice, good switch. Nice. Good switch. Okay. That's okay. You're good. You're good. Go. Don't forget your A combos and B combos. Once you gets close to him. Oh, the dodge. Uh, uh. All right, all right. Yep. You almost got him. There you go. Almost got him. Can you get a super in? There you go. Good. First character down. Two to go. Okay. Boom. And into the city. Breaking the building. Finish the job. Can you give us a super. Oh, can you give us a super? Oh, oh he's hey. dead. To test myself, I too will fight. Very nice. So, what kept what really helped there was you got Piccolo out of danger. 
Right. If your Piccolo died, it was going to be a, bit, a lot Very harder. Rough. But okay. that helped you the most there. Nice. Very cool. My baby's getting trophies. I just really, I just re realized there's uh, uh, one final thing he never learned, and that's pressing both assists together with full. Oh, thank full God, bar. I thought you said how to love. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that we'll we'll get there. That all. That's the final lesson, really. She am too strong. Do it for the kids, Josh. Oh, oh save the kids. Oh, save the children. Switch them out if you oh can. Oh my God. The nice children. Switch. There you go. Somebody please think of the children. Now don't switch them back in. Okay. Oh no, they're back in. They're back in. Be careful. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boy. You All let right. a kid die, Josh. All right. It's going to be a little harder. You let a child go I never, down. I never was a very good babysitter. Oh, God. Honest, <laughs> don't shake the babies. Microwaves. No. Not a toy. God. Ooh, he lived. Well, that's cool looking. One more hit. What's going on? Oh, you tried to switch or something? Yeah, he was. He was trying to switch. I think. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, oh, that's uh, cute. uh. Nice. Got some nice little cute combos going there. Yeah, more for the measure. Let's go. Get the food god. Get the food god. Uh oh. Almost. You're flexing all okay, the Okay, Josh. Mm -hmm. You see your two assist buttons? Yeah. Press them together when the fight starts. Okay. Oh, I think he already used it. Right? No, not sparking. Oh. The t doesn't it do the, um,. Oh no. Never mind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Not Marvel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not Marvel. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Almost. Fight him, fight him. Use that meter. Oh, he's fighting back. Got six bars of super. What are you gonna do? The super? Level three? No, okay. Nice! That was a lot closer, though. So once you once you have a character die, it can start going downhill. You know. Okay. Um, nice. You got you brought it back, though. Mo a lot of characters will have like you know a, a kamehameha beam mm -hmm. as their like projectile, but like what'll be different will be like um, that that rush punch that Goku does. Mm -hmm. um, so only Goku does that, and the um, the hurricane kick, right? Um, okay. whereas Gohan will have like a, sh a Shoryuken, like a full-on okay. Ryu from Street Fighter, Shoryuken, yeah. like he straight up just does that exact move, but Goku doesn't have that. Like right now, like you're pushing the buttons and a lot is going on, but once you stop and look at every character, oh, this move is different, mm -hmm. this move has a okay. different effect, mm -hmm. this is a shield. Um, mm -hmm. Beer Beerus was putting those little purple balls around him, Right. that's Beerus' special thing, mm -hmm. right? So and is the main thing, the specials, that makes them different? Yes. Okay. And the specials are... Well, basically, once you know how those specials work, then you'll know what their game plan is. Mm -hmm. Every character... That's what's that's what's crazy. It's like it's a whole big cast here. Everyone has a unique game plan. They have a specific thing they want to do. Okay. Um, so uh, Android 16, for example, is a grappler. His goal is to do power bombs and dunks and grab you like Zangief in Street Fighter 2 you know and he's gonna forego having giant beams and big projectiles in order to just dash up to you and land those grabs so I just get this impression that like it's so fast that uh, it's, it, all, it's all good it all yeah so it is and pl touching it for the first time all of that game plan stuff doesn't matter right now because the screen is just full of shit. Okay, because I do remember this one 
Marvel versus Capcom interview. Yeah. Where like the, a producer, assistant producer, was like, ah, they're just functions, right? Oh yes. And I look at this, and I go, my first impression is to pick my favorite characters. Yes. And everything else doesn't really like. I'll figure it out. That's how it's you will. Though. Absolutely. That's how you I just start. Pick your favorite characters, and you will figure it out. If you pick Captain Ginyu, mm -hmm. you can switch bodies, <laughs> and that's what you want to set up, right? And like, don't worry about the rest. You know, to me, the most important thing in any fighting game is the character I find cool. If I don't like a character, mm -hmm. I'm not interested in the game. Okay. And here's what's interesting too: when I am into a game, I like my character more than the game hmm i like steve fox the boxer mm -hmm. more than i like tekken okay so would you want a character in every fighting game that kind of played like him or do you want a character that is i guess looks like him well i like it would be cool if there were more people that played like him but what it is is I kind of pick a main in each of these games and I kind of fall in love with them and I enjoy using okay. them and I end up having more fun just being that character than I than I do in the game overall. That's not everybody, right? That's definitely not Reggie. That's not a lot of people like but like I'm describing for me mm -hmm. like when I play Strive and I pick Nagoriyuki, I love playing as Nagoriyuki. Mm -hmm. I end up enjoying that and, like, that becomes the main thing I want to do. Okay. Right? And when I miss Strive, what I miss is Nagoriyuki. The little I played of Strive, I was just like, I want to find a character that is fun to play for me. Yeah. Um, but, but, like, like Nagoriyuki is a good example of he looks really cool. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. And I felt that in other games where I loved Crimson Viper the first time I saw her. Mm -hmm. But the moment I went to start using her, I was like, I can't do this. You know, and I was like, fair enough. I'm just, I, sometimes I bounce off. Um, but in these cases, it worked out and it was a perfect blend of like, okay, I like the style. I like the character. Now we're going to come together and I'm going to want to just main them, you know? Okay. Um, so in a game like this, like, uh, I bring up 16 because I like dunking people as Android 16 more than anything else in this entire game, <laughs> personally. And every time I want to come back to this, what I really want to do is I want to dunk people. Here's a hypothetical. You surgically alter yourself to make it easier to play fighting games. Sure. Like, you mess with the wiring, you maybe, like, make your wrists <laughs> different. Like okay. Body modification. Sure. Is that tournament legal? Yes, because <laughs> it's happening on a player level, not a tool level, Right. There was. It's interesting you bring that up because there was a conversation just this week. Uh, because um, wait, hold on, hold on. What if I have a macro that makes me roll cancel every time, a hundred percent, do every super? If you ma if you maximize your yeah, it's still it's your. There's no rulings on body modification. Damn, I need to get on that. Okay, I mean, dude, there's people that can twitch their hands faster than others. Yeah, for rapid input. Yeah. Right. And like, if there's a, something that requires rapid input and you're better at doing that, then you have that advantage. Right. It's still your body and like you got to, you know, whatever's happening internally is not ruled on yet. Anything that's you're controlling the game with, however, needs to be fair. Um, it's funny because right now there's a discussion happening in fighting games where, um, so we know how we talked about like the uh, all button sticks, mm -hmm. right? Because there's an advantage competitively to having all buttons, people are making sticks that have a combination of a normal joystick mm -hmm. and then extra buttons around the punches and kicks that okay. are directions, right? And like sometimes they combine and use both or whatever. Um, in order to keep up, someone just designed a, a button that whenever you press it, it goes in the opposite direction of wherever your stick is being held. So if you're holding down back, oh. it's going to go up or up okay. forward, right? And it'll just do the... It's an opposite button. Opposite button. It's called the antagonist. Because okay. it hits the antagonist position of what you're doing, right? That allows you to have the same advantage as if you were playing with holding down and then tapping the up button, not okay. having to go to neutral in between. It allows you to do that. Uh, Capcom just banned it. Hmm. Oh, okay. CPT. When did that happen? This week. Oh, damn it. Right? Hmm. The Capcom tournament for Street Fighter just announced you're not allowed to use that. And furthermore, 
you're not allowed to use any sticks or controllers that have more than one source of the same directional input. Hmm. So what about, okay, you can't have the stick and hit box buttons on the same thing. Together, buttons. you can only have one of them, oh, right? Oh, man. I'm thinking of all these scenarios of like, okay, what if there was an AI in the hitbox? <laughs> no, wait, what if the AI was in your brain? Yeah, sure, sure. What if there was an AI in the hitbox and your brain and they were communicating <laughs> with each to other? Make you better? <laughs> yes. What if you could stop time and see the reactions of your opponent better and then slow? Are stands <laughs> tournament legal? <laughs> Uh, maybe not Hermit Purple, because <laughs> Hermit Purple is changing the inputs around, right? Okay. Personally, I am all for cyborgs on Adderall, so... There you go. It, while it doesn't matter for this type of, like, tutorial sort of experience, um, they did just announce that they're adding rollback net play to this game. So um, it's gonna, you can play online now. It'll be yeah. you'll be able to play online good against people. And that's <laughs> it's nice because like rollback is the most interesting part of fighting games to me. <laughs> As a programmer, it's so clever, but it's also kind of simple. But it's it's like once you see it, you're like, oh yeah, Ponder. obviously. Sh yeah, the the cannons, man, brilliant. Third uh, a third uh, a spool, a third string, uh, 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 like that's just simulating the game between two, mm -hmm. and then it it's not rendering anything out. It's just yeah. a reference point, and when anything goes wrong, it just repeat. Go. And then it gets the new update and goes correct. Go back in time. And you're hoping it's like four milliseconds. Yeah. But it's so much smarter than asking, hey, what's your next input? Right. Hey, what's your next input? Are you there? Oh, God. Where are you? You're around the world, aren't you? What mm -hmm. do I do now? I don't know. I guess we'll just wait. sit and wait. Are you in Laval? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know? It's so much smarter to exactly just just do that, you know. So you are correct in that, like as you said, there's a lot going on, um, and I like I think the, the the you know by focusing on just like super dashing and landing some combos and doing that cool stuff, the, the eventually you'll kind of learn like, oink. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Look at the character next oh to Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Do not approve of this. <laughs> well, all right. Um, we can't be stopped. Josh, you're you're you find yourself in the middle of memes going on. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't get that one. <laughs> I mean, I'm unfazed. I'm unfazed. Uh, I'm unfazed. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, oh, the game plan, and they just ran in from off screen. Oh, this is godlike. Yes. This is an attack. This. <laughs> For you, no reason. You should feel attacked. For no reason. Damn. Hyper team combo finish. KO. Just because I got a bit of culture. Um, so you're witnessing an, an, a, a live and direct team attack straight to Reggie right now. Are we being ddos right now? This is basically a DDoS to, to Reggie's heart. <laughs> Balut is not food. And Oink Reggie have entered the chat. This is how it starts. It's getting real personal right this is over how it here. Starts. Uh, it's not my number one, but I respect it. It's not on my list. Uh, oh, okay. Well, hey, here, here, look. Um, uh, uh, Balut is not food has left. Right? So this person clearly is that same person just renaming themselves. So at least it's not three people trying to attack you. It's really just two, and, one, and one's got time on their hands to switch it up. That's so good. there you go. You are correct in that like there's a lot going on. So like I said, focusing on the super dashing and just getting some combos out is pretty um, helpful. And then like within that, some t you'll eventually be like, oh, well, there's times when I can't super dash or there's times when I get hit here. Maybe I should like block or, you know, you'll kind of emergently figure mm -hmm. out what to do around that stuff. But we're just having some yeah. fun right now. So I think something that might be cool and might help is um, to try a 1v1. Okay. To just get like the flow of what a match is without other all that other stuff going on a little mm -hmm. bit, and I think it would help to like pick a character you like and like let's stick with them on your team, 
while like rotating other people okay. around. Out so, of curiosity, the one v one, yeah, is that standard in three v threes or no? Um, the one v one is not a standard mode. It's okay. not the it's not the way the game is played in competitively or turn or whatever. Okay. Um, it's really just like a bonus little fun I mean, thing. It's a good idea. It's a good idea because it, it like it'll help you see a little bit more of what's going on mm -hmm. before we, we by taking away some of the extra elements. Um, and uh, also, I'd like you to like yeah, pick a character you like and like mm -hmm. on the team of three that you're you're rotating around with. Like, let's stick with at least one. Mm -hmm. for the next couple matches and like kind of like see if you can find like a main mm -hmm. you know who is your favorite dragon ball character actually see that says a lot about a person doesn't it like i'm just gonna be honest you pick this dude i don't trust you <laughs> what about the new version of him did you see did you see the yeah. oh he's great he's the best yeah. he's super cool but yes you know the, the only thing le less trustworthy than fucking broly is uh bio broly Oh, I hope they add him from the slime. <laughs> that seems like a that seems like a very low amount of investment for a new character. <sighs> okay, so Zamasu is actually his unique thing is like his flying is not he like he's got the super dash, but he floats and flies. Okay, like um, as if uh, uh, like well, I was gonna say like a Marvel versus Capcom character, but like he can just straight up hover in midair. And you can control him in the air and do stuff in that stance, you know? So, uh, he's got a, a unique thing there. Ah, oh, that saxophone. Okay, so you, you said he's floating. Okay. Well, uh, he, that's, one of his, that's one of his abilities, but for now, just the usual, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So that's one of his combos. There you go. Just getting, getting a little hang of it. While you're getting hit, just hold a button down okay. and pick the direction you want to flip out to. Also, when you're pushing all the buttons, if you push low and medium, it's going to do the throw. Okay. So I don't know if you want to like... Wait, what? Sometimes when he's pushing all the buttons, yeah. If he pushes low and medium, it's gonna do the throw. For that, for the master to do it. No, just regular throw. Low. Oh, sorry. Like light, yeah, light attack, rush, light right? attack plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's what you mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. By by mashing a bit, you're gonna overlap. Yeah. Oh, careful. Ah. Uh, Oh, the Prince gotcha. So yeah, some they're like uh, you got. So when you're getting up like that, uh, sometimes you want to like block a bit. Okay. You know, if you're getting hit, something wrong is happening. Well, you're gonna get hit. Yeah, I, I, that's a. I don't like that. No. No, I don't like that at all. You're getting hit is normal. <laughs> that makes it sound like you're making a mistake when. I'd say getting hit is very normal and expected. I mean, like, if you're getting hit, it's like, why did I get hit? What happened? You know, you gotta think about it, no? Once you know what's going on in the game. I guess. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go, let's go learn Z Zamasu specifically. Uh, head over to practice. Get a little more comfortable with what he's got. So, the, the, the blue things are are your like special moves mm -hmm. the yellow are level one supers and then the red is your level three right so this is what i mean when i say like characters have pretty short move lists in this game by comparison because this is everything you okay, know this is manageable yeah. yeah so he's got hadoken forward so down to forward and then uh mm -hmm. light medium or heavy he's got hadoken backwards and then he's got hadoken forward with fireball or hard open back with fireball. Okay, you know what I want right now? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to press a button and see it, and then it puts it into a mode yes. where if I do it, it shows me if I got it. Yep, Tekken does that. Um, okay. Also, the new games will show you a little like demonstration of it. But yeah, totally. This game doesn't have that. They should. They absolutely should. Uh, but well, it's I okay. Guess you could grant a challenge. 
and that's what it does, right? So yes, like, but it'll but it'll choose which ones to show yeah. in what order. Yeah. But this is to like go oh. down the list. Yeah. That's way better than what I had before. Yeah. Is that so, because it was level seven or? No, no, no. That that flying right there. Yeah. That's what Zamasu is, does, and that's unique okay. to Zamasu. Other characters can't move like that. The downside is when you're flying around like that is you can't block. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you can you can really you can fly and be really like quick and tricky about it. Are the fireballs homing or are they just like diagonal? Uh, those fireballs are yeah. not homing. It doesn't seem terribly useful. I don't know. It's useful in combos, right? So what people okay. will do is like a, a combo on the ground into the air and then they'll fly in the middle of the combo and like extend it in midair, you know? So like you'd see like um, like a ground attack into the air mm -hmm. and then once they're in the air, they'll still like fly and then do a couple of extra hits, you know? But but in any case, uh, let's not get lost in the sauce, right? Okay, so, wait, attacking ends it, okay. So let's do the four moves that were on the move okay. list there. So what are the four, the four things he's got? Okay. So that's got some wind up. Mm -hmm. And then that's uh, the light version, right? Mm -hmm. And do, you can do medium and heavy as well to see the difference. So it's a different direction on the slash with the medium. Oh, not that one. Uh, right, and then so the heavy version is that, and that goes all the way across from, from like full screen practically, right? Almost full screen. There you go. So that's like a nice little like combo ender if you do like like light, medium, heavy, and then that thing. Okay, so like a... Uh, not quite. Try to get light, medium, heavy. Hadoken. That worked. Yeah, essentially. That's 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 one way of doing it. Um, okay, so he's got that slashing thing that you can do. Uh, what's the backwards Hadouken move? The flying. Oh. Uh, and while you're flying, can you you can do the Hadouken move? Okay. Yeah. Is it? Oh no, it's different. Okay. Oh, so it changes when you fly? Yeah. So while you're flying, you can... You get a blade coming out of it. So that's pretty cool, because... It'll just automatically shoot out after a certain amount of time. So, like... Uh, yeah, you can kind of, like, put the pressure on. And then that'll interrupt what they're doing. Um, and then I know while you're in the air, you can fly around while having those things. Those around you as well. Right, so... Fly and then do... There you go. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, while you're flying, you can also super dash, right? So even if you're hanging back, you can eventually choose to close the distance and do that. So do you want to try out uh, your supers as well? Just see what they do. Okay, that's your level three. Is that just yeah. hit anywhere? Uh, test it. Uh, let's see. Wow. Looks like it. Looks like it. Kind of tracks. Yeah. Um, there's one other super he has too, right? Uh, go to the move list again. What's the What's the input for that special? Uh, this is Hadoken uh, special. Okay. Now, do Hadoken with um, the grab button. There you go. That's your other special. Alright. So those are your three. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, I feel like a, a, a decent uh, thing to try would be, let's say you do your light... Your light, light, light combo. Mm -hmm. Keep it going all the way till he knocks him. You knock him on the ground, and then right when you knock him on the ground, do uh, that big fireball super. Okay. Oh, follow it up. Keep light. Even keep pressing light. Keep pressing light. 
keep going. And then right at the end when you're falling, you do that big fireball super. Oh, that works. There you go. Yes, in some fighting games, having a fly ability like that is like really, really useful. In some cases, in some cases like this, it's like not as big, but the the fact that you can't block makes it very risky. You know, ninety percent of the characters in this game can do that light, 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 mm -hmm. light, light, light super okay. in the exact same way. So, is there a point where you can go like, okay, you're only going to use this subset of moves, but if you can use them at the right time? You could probably beat somebody who can use more moves, but their timing's off. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You can use a limited set of things and learn to use them good and win more than people who are using all of those things. In fact, that is how you stop being a beginner, okay. is you find out what three things or four things are the best ones, and you end up using those more against people who are using the full deck Right. Good and bad included. That's that's what makes you a better player. Okay. Is putting you, like you have a move list in your head, and then you start putting gray blocks over some of them, going, mm. "Yeah, I don't really need that most of okay. the time." And somebody else could be doing something different with the same character, and so even if it's a mirror match, you still have to figure out what part of the kit they're using. Yeah, because okay. you know what's happening. Let's say you and I are playing with a full deck of card playing cards. I'm looking at mine and going. You know what? I'm just going to use face cards. I don't need low numbers. Mm. And then you're going to be putting low numbers down. And I'm like, I'm putting a queen down. Right. I'm putting a jack down. I know the moves and I've decided I'm not going to limit myself. I'm not going to do these weaker ones. I'm going to just use these. And that's going to be the first step that makes you better than somebody who's using that full right. deck. Yeah. We've talked about before, like, the technical part. Where it's like, I can't do a Shoryuken or something like yeah. that. And you're like, so that part of the kit is immediately gone. Mm -hmm. You're like, fuck it. Like, whatever. Can you learn to work around that? It's going to be hard, but you can. Um, and like, so, for example, you want to say like a Shoryuken with, in Street Fighter with mm -hmm. Ryu. If you can't do a Shoryuken, down and heavy punch is still an anti-air move. Okay. He crouches and he does a big uppercut that just mm -hmm. doesn't leave the ground. But you can do that until you get better at landing hmm. a sure you can that's something that's not communicated no because for example i'd rather be doing down heavy mm -hmm. uh 100 percent of the time mm -hmm. and doing the tech i want yep instead of fucking up a sure you can absolutely 60 percent of the time and that's what me and reggie and people who play fighting games a lot are doing all the time is we're do finding something that's like the best answer here is a little too hard for me let okay. me do something that i know i'm not gonna miss and I can get it 100% of the time. Mm. I'm constantly making a cons uh, like a, a, a concession for that. It's kind of weird because I understand the need for a technical part where mm -hmm. you go like, can you do the inputs? Or you can look at something like Smash or any of those clones where the super simple inputs. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which ones or if either are better. I think simplified inputs helps more people have more fun faster. Yeah. But if you're a skilled player, you're still gonna find a way to, even in these simplified games, do high-level things that mm -hmm. are, you know, more complicated than the beginner players will be able to do yeah. anyway. We'll just, you'll you'll be able to feel the, the part of the game that's fun, which is the, the decision-making. You'll get to that sooner, but, like, the skill ceiling is still higher up, you know? Yeah. We're just raising the floor. Because I'm thinking of something like Devil May Cry, mm -hmm. where the combos are really simple. Mm -hmm. You know, like, A, 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 A. Yeah. And you go... But I bet 80% of players are not even there. No, probably not. In fact, you can see lots of matches online, or lots of games on, lots of times online, when people are playing like a game like that for the first time, and they don't know that the style part of the game is like yeah, what you're supposed to do. Game. So that they're kind of just like, oh, you just beat up the enemies and move on, right? Try to make it to the boss. Yeah. And you're not really thinking about that, and then like you're missing a whole other thing that right. it helps to have someone around to go, oh no, you're, the point is to try to be stylish, you know? It's like that argument where you go, how come DMC5's dungeons are all just corridors? And you go, because you don't, nobody played three for the puzzles or four yeah. for the puzzles. <laughs> like, they're wasting their time and your time. Exactly. But if you're playing at that low level, you're like, could I get a puzzle? I've been, like, pressing A for hours now. Yep. 
I want my enemies to la- to have higher health bars so that I can mm. combo them for longer. Mm. Right. You know, down and heavy attack is an uppercut in this mm-hmm. game, and it <laughs> is like a shoryuken in that. Anytime okay. someone's flying at you, it'll win at all times. Mm. If someone teleports behind you, it'll beat that. Okay. Right? But that's a more in-depth thing right. to not worry about here. But like when you, but let's say you went like, all right, what are the couple moves I'm going to use to get better at this game? That's one of them, where you're just okay. like, I'll occasionally have a crouching heavy punch ready to go. Mm. And I'm not going to load up too many things in what they call a mental stack. Right. You know, you're just going to go, I'm looking to dash, get some combos. Uh, and if he tries to dash at me, I'll do that. Okay. And that's it. That's all you're thinking. That's the game. That's the whole, that's the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And that will, you'll win against people who are not doing that almost 100% of the time. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. There you go. There you go. That's the game plan. Bam. There you go. Oh, yeah. You're way more comfortable with Zamazu now. All right. No worries. Yo, one character? OCV. OCV? One character victory? It's coming. Just the Mazu? Nice. There you go. Oh, he's doing it. Bop, bop, bop. A. Oh my God. Let's go. A one character victory. And look, and that is just knowing what to do with one guy. Right. Just knowing, like, okay, adjust your timing a bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Just being familiar with one character. That's the difference. They didn't touch you. Right. Nice. Yeah. Um, so here's a little thing to think about. You know when you do the um, the teleport mm-hmm. behind them and you, they kick them to the yeah. wall? You're, so when they're bouncing off the wall and you're standing there, mm-hmm. uh, try doing your like your heavy attack. Like I think that'll touch. Okay. Like it's like a, it's it'll reach far enough. So yeah, good stuff. Like the thing that really gets me is like once he starts laying into you, it's like you gotta you gotta get back on your feet. Mm-hmm. But there's just that moment of like, oh uh, boy. Yeah. Like, When's this going to end? How much is this going to hurt? Yeah. Yeah. So those are, that's when your brain is going to should switch to defense mode, you know? Like it's almost like if you're playing any sport and it's like, oh, we got the ball. Now we lost the ball. Right? The, the mentality change to being on defense is like a little, it's just a little switch that says like, I can't do what I want right now. Mm-hmm. I have to wait. It, okay. So, you know, and go. You're in trouble if you lose initiative. Yes. Go. So we can use go absolutely yeah. as an analogy here. It might not necessarily communicate the best mm, of the stream, yeah. but uh, but when you're on defense in go, you have to find a way out. Or you're, you're finished. Yes. Because the other guy is going to be like, okay, we're going to do what I want, mm-hmm. and you're going to try to survive, and you can't win. That absolutely applies here too, right? I mean, there are, vi- there are like videos where someone... It forces you to block for like 10 seconds in a row, 15 seconds in a row, and you're just panicking the whole way, you know? But you have to yeah. find that way to turn it around. Same thing applies to fighting games. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. There you go. It, it works. Wall bounce into the, into your heavy button. Nice. Mission accomplished. Oh, Mission yeah. accomplished, baby. Clean. There's something kind of ridiculous about like just just press the button at the right time and you 
probably won't lose. But that's every fighting game to some degree. When you boil it down, it just comes to knowing which button, when. What was that game with only one button? Uh, dive kick. Oh, dive kick. Yeah, well, two, technically. Dive and kick. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's all decision making. All right. Goku with the special colors. There's one down. Boom. Oh, oh. still living. All right, there you go. Oh, yes. Dude, you're... That's it. Getting warmed up with Zamazu. Okay. And I don't think it's anything about him. Like... It, no. It's you knowing what yeah. he does. So, there's something really comforting in the idea that, like, okay, every character kind of samey at the at the press one button level. Yes. You're going to be okay. Like, yeah, the, the, the details are... Yeah. The differences are small. And just pressing one button and timing it, to me, is something where I could do that for six months mm -hmm. and be like I'm I got my timing real good like you're not unless you break through mm -hmm. you're not you're like I don't need the rest of the game because you know because you know what's happening right here's what's going on it's rock paper scissors everyone's mm -hmm. playing rock paper scissors right and that you can play rock paper scissors for as long as you need to but here's what you find out when Zamazu wins with scissors the next scissors he does is gonna be extra strong Okay. You know? So you kind of realize, oh, well, Zamazu has a special kind of scissors. It's still rock, paper, scissors, but there's a little thing about his scissors that's good. That, okay. like, other, you know, and then if you yeah. start paying attention to that little extra detail, other mm. people that are just playing rock, paper, scissors are going to lose to that little right. detail. Yeah. I mean, the first thing you got to learn is nothing beats rock. <laughs> rock is undestroyable. <laughs> Can't be stopped. Yeah. There you go. There you yeah. go. I played Strive for the story mode, but I had like a good six rounds online. Mm -hmm. Pretty proud of myself. Mm -hmm. I almost won. Mm -hmm. And the thing that stopped me was that barrier of going like, okay, if I'm going to play this game, I'm probably going to have to play it for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I'm going to have to get really good at like one to two characters and learn how to fight every other character. And I looked at it and I said, I can't, I don't have the time for that. So do you know what the, you know what the fast forward secret is for that? playing with friends together and like you both are trying to compete with each other and then you find a rival that's yeah. at your level you're exactly finding play. a rival and then growing together your gary will yeah. help you surpass right. that it's level. always like i know that a lot of arxis games are trying to like match you up with someone of your skill level mm -hmm. but in a game in a fighting game there's a lot like there's so many characters and so many nuances that like What's average? Yeah, no, it, it, it sucks that, like, you know, the matchmaking is not perfect in a lot of games, mm -hmm. right? Matchmaking can mean the biggest difference in the world because in an ideal matchmaking situation, every time you pair up with somebody, it'll feel like a rival. Mm. It sh that should be the ultimate goal of a good matchmaking service is to make the people you land on feel like a rival, but it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, you know? so I play Go Online, and... I've played the same guy at least like 50 times over the past two or three years. Mm. I don't know. I don't remember his name. Mm. I don't know who he is. Never, never going to meet him. Never going to talk to him. But I've seen that guy enough. That I'm like, all right, man, how you doing? Like, what's going you on here? You know his style. Let's you know see. his style. Yeah. Yep. And it's gotten to the point where like, I hope you're learning how I play because I'm learning how you play. Yep. Um, and that carries a little bit to every other match. Mm -hmm. But specifically against this guy, I go, okay, let's see how you're doing. Mm -hmm. And... Maybe that's what's missing. Like, maybe if there was a way to formalize that. Mm -hmm. To say, okay, there's certain players who are putting on a setting, which is like student and teacher mode. Right. And they accept up to four students. And you can track them, you can see how they're doing, and you can request matches and set up a schedule like a Google Calendar It would be great. Thing. That's what locals in fighting games kind of is, mm -hmm. right? Going out to a group that are meeting up on a given day every week, yeah. and they're playing a bunch of different games... And you go, you find the one or two people that are like, yo, you guys are playing my game. All right, let's hang. Let's do some sets. What'd you learn last week? You mm -hmm. know? And even if you don't show up all the time, every time you go, like, you walk away that night going like, oh, I got some shit to think about. You yeah. know? That I didn't know. Um, so here, I'd like you to try something out. Okay. So go, go in with the team. And you're, since you're warmed up now, I want you to try to land that level three. And that level three, it's going to take three bars of meter. 
Mm -hmm. So you might have to switch out characters, use other people okay. to get the meter, and then try to land that Zamasu level three. Okay. So that's the mission. Ooh. The counter. Yeah. Oh no! Get him uh -oh, out of there! Uh -oh. oh shit! Nice! Oh. Alright, get him out, get him out! Yeah, yeah, Zamasu's gonna die. Oh, he's still fighting, he's not done yet. Okay, okay. Oh fuck! Uh oh, uh oh. There you go! There you go. Okay, you saved it. Bah! Yo, yeah, Zamasu did his job, did his job. Mission accomplished. Jordan back on the bench. Yep. In the third quarter. Rest up. Okay. Right through. Okay, I see you. I see you. He's trying to do some stuff. Some mm -hmm, supers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bop, 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 bop. Yo! Ooh, yo! What? <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> That's real tech. That was real. That was super real. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Fat boo, baby. Boom. Uh, uh. That was crazy. So something that happens that uh, uh I noticed, and uh, that's an issue, and like it's an issue for me too is when you switch characters, mm -hmm. the person that was there is now who you were just playing. So your slot two and three are okay. gonna change okay, throughout so the like match. It's not, all, it's not one character on one button. Oh, that's why I'm getting so confused. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's whoever you put there last is who's coming out of that slot. Okay. And that happens in Marvel 2, and I still make those mistakes. Okay. So that's a universal thing. Yeah, th th that's mm -hmm. what's happening. Is you have to kind of the way to know who's where is is looking up at the life bar and seeing what order their their portrait is in. Okay. Essentially, you know, a human opponent might be interesting. I don't know. Humans are unpredictable. They are, but as a new profile that's never been online before, you're going to be starting at the beginning, and you might get matched up with someone that's new as well, and we can see how that goes. In, in any case, win or lose, it's not the goal. The goal is super dash, land those combos. That's all you got to worry about right now, you know? Okay. Oh, wait, options? Start. Options? Button? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's see how. Again, it's not about winning here. Just here super dash warrior. button. A w wait a minute. Isn't it's not about winning, it's about having fun what losers say? That's not the point. <laughs> 13 matches, 4 wins. Let's go. I got this. Participation trophies all around. The only <laughs> thing better than winning is flipping the table over and leaving. <laughs> it's Disco Elysium. Failing is failing forward. Better things happen. You can't fail in life. You can only get different text. Let's go. He's blocking. Is that oh, no. He's blocking. Okay. Okay, you went for the throw. I respect that. Hey. The CPU couldn't block. He is blocking. All right. Zamazu's hurt. Might have to save your character. Switch him out. Oh, no. That's okay. All right. He's blocking a little bit. He's being patient. It's okay to be patient too, a little bit. Oh. Oh. A little bit late, but good idea. There you go. Nice. Yep. Ooh. There you go. Good blocking there. Yeah, he's waiting for an opening. 
Now. Uh oh. Nice block. Good block. Ooh, freeze is hurt. Can you save him? Can you switch him out? Oh, he's rocking. Golden Frieza. Just call me Golden Frieza. Keep mashing. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Last character. Let's go blue. Nice. Wow. Nice. There you go. Perfect answer to when he misses. You still got a level three. Back off the spark. Nice. It's okay. You're healing. Hadoken backwards and super dash. Oh. Okay. Ah. Goku isn't the only super saiyan. All right. Good stuff. You uh, you dashed in on him after he whiffed that super. That was really good. I wasn't expecting him to block. <laughs> yes. So that's no. That's that's what it. That's what a human will do. But, uh, again, like, you got in there when he missed a couple times, um, you, it was a bit difficult getting the switches going, you know, but solid first match, you know, um, preparing for, like, how to deal with those blocks is, yeah, uh, another. So, if I'm dashing in and he blocks, yeah, what do I do? If he blocks after you've already dashed, um, he can press buttons to, like, punish you for doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, but if he doesn't, and you kind of just land back normal, you're okay. Okay. You can just continue playing. Um, the way to beat someone that's just blocking is the the grab, okay. the, the dragon rush, right? So that's the uh, that button up there. Exactly. They can't block that, and then once they once you land that on them, and then you hit them into the into the air, you can just keep pressing light, 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 and they'll, okay. you'll do an air combo, smack them back down to the ground. Okay. Getting someone out of trouble when you're about to die, it's it's mm -hmm. tricky. It's tricky. You have to look at the life. And you're like, ah, I'm about half life. Do you have to be on the ground to switch? Uh, no. Okay. You can be in the air, but what what uh, what you really have to do is just like once you decide I want to switch characters, just start holding uh, the assist button. Okay. To call in that character. So you just as long as it takes, you want to get them in as soon as possible. You you hold the assist button down. Yeah. Okay. Oh 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 six five four five. Not too, not too high. Okay, between four and six. Still gross. Oh, ten. There we go. All right, focus on the fight. All right. Yep. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, nice, dude. What? Excellent stuff. Keeping the pressure going. Stay on him. Oh, he's done. Keep he's pressing. Done. Keep pressing. Hit him. Hit him. Nice. Good shit. Oh, he's doing it. Let's go. Let's go. About to get that green tag. Good pressure. Keep going. Let's go. Uh. Oh, he switched. That's okay. Clash. Get him. Okay. Oh shit. Let's go hit. Uh, Let's go hit. Uh, eliminated. Beautiful. Yo, one character victory? What's happening? Zamasu the god? Oh, oh, Zamasu oh, the oh, god. Oh, hey! The god. With some medals on top. See, clean. I felt like. He wasn't doing anything. He was doing things, but you were there first. Okay. I don't really understand why it was different from the previous match. He was not blocking. Mm. The other guy was waiting to block a bit more. We should tell this guy to block. Well, unfortunately, you're going to have to convert it to Brazilian Portuguese because 
<laughs> this connection implies South America. Okay. Now you're gonna want to switch. Uh oh. Hold the assist. There you go. Freezes in. Nice. Oh, oh my god, it gobbled. <laughs> oh, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> that was all true. Dude, that was super sick. <laughs> Yo, Josh, chill. Chill, player, chill bro. He remembered the movie. He did. He remembered the movie. He's like, oh, that's what you have to do. Oh. Uh, into the super? Fuck yeah. Yo, all we need now Fuck. is a rage quit. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Mikey. Pull the plug. Pull the plug. Don't go down like that. <laughs> oh! Don't do turn that? your back on, Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Josh! Okay, 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 okay. Chill, chill, chill. He said to chill. Yeah, to yeah, chill. calm down, calm down. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is a fucking sick match, man. Alright, let's take it home. Ooh. There it is. There it is. The wall. Hey! The wall. Perfect. Yo. We got oh no, the lag! Dragon Rush conversion? <gasps> Into it! Oh, oh he was right behind it. In the back. Oh, careful, careful. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, Zamasu. Zamasu the guard. Zamasu the guard. Last try. Here we go. Oh! Oh, it's gonna be close. Ooh. Is he alive? Close. You're alive. You are alive. Barely alive. Let's go. Yo! No! Let's go! Spend <laughs> that meter, boy. Oh, Spend shit. That meter. Nicely done. How's that How's that heart rate, Josh? No, I'm good. You're all right? I'm at peace. You're at peace. 2-0. So, so nice. There is something fundamentally frustrating about winning when you know how... <laughs> Like badly you suck, dude. That was totally. That was absolutely a legit win. Okay. Don't try to fucking kneecap any of that. You played. Yeah. You pressured. You stayed on him. Uh uh uh. Sword 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 sword. Oh uh. Cut cut cut. Backing up. Staying on him. Look at this offense. What a bully. What a bully. Uh -huh. Two more hits. There you go. Gone. Looking clean. Pippa Thong does not know where to block. Left, right. Trying to get their offense going. No. Josh. That's it. That's trying it. Trying to teach you about defense here. Uh, okay. Uh. One more touch. There you go. The clean Zamazu victory. You got three bars. Oh, if it hits, if it hits, are you gonna super them? Four bars. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Let's it go. Yeah. <laughs> The team is in. The team, the is, team in. is in. Boom. One after the other. You got Hell yeah. I get this, I get this feeling like Zamas is kind of like a vertical slash diagonal character. Yes. Uh, so exit okay. this. Uh, so you tried a lot of characters and they all have these right. similar things, right? Like mm -hmm. the auto combos, the super dash, the throws. These are all the generic things. Mm -hmm. But you're saying Zamasu felt like more vertical. Some characters are really good in the air. Some characters are really good on the ground. They mm -hmm. all have like different toolkits. Mm -hmm. And the more you play, the more you'll see the intricacies. Yeah. So yeah. to uh, uh, and to like give examples, um, some characters are going to excel at being on the ground. Okay. Right. So uh, for example. Yamcha uh, and um, well, 
16 with the with the dunks as well yeah, bardock like, with the punches a, like a lot of those a lot of that stuff like like 16 has like a level three grab that you have to be on the ground to land right okay. um and like yamcha his wolf fang fist and all mm -hmm. that stuff you got to be on the ground okay you know uh, he can move around like crazy and do good stuff but once you're in the air he's not as he's not as more versatile okay. so what I, I noticed with frieza is in the air he shoots fireball down straight down like that yeah on the ground he can shoot a fireball diagonal up mm -hmm. so he like he controls that, that exchange uh, yeah yes and that counts in the how you control the screen right, right. you so, got an attack that attacks upwards well the opponent has to be careful mm -hmm. going into that area of the screen mm -hmm. you're using your tools and then there's examples of characters that they that can control both but you have to be in control of that so okay. so uh cell for example has attacks where he can do like a rolling forward attack mm. uh but if you do the heavy version he goes straight down okay you know so like you have to choose and it's a little more expertise required with like having the options around you but you have to control it properly you know but yes uh different people will control different parts of, an, of the the stage or mm -hmm. you know and your team composition will allow you to control right what so all three can do together during the assists mm -hmm. uh well this like the super assists because yeah. i was like oh if i had a different team they might have shot that fireball in a different direction yeah one of the most basic things to have when the game first came out especially was have someone on your team that has an assist that's just a straight beam right okay a straight beam on the ground is classic useful it's going to control that much space for like a couple seconds and uh and it's going to allow you to continue your combos as well you know mm -hmm. uh once you've got that taken care of you don't need two people doing that right. so you can have someone else that goes up mm -hmm. you can have someone else that comes in uh android uh for example comes in and she uh puts a shield up mm -hmm. so you can have an assist that'll come in and be defensive as well yeah. you know okay so so I feel like that's a higher level of play immediately. A hundred percent. Like, but I feel like there's an option where you could say the only thing I want to get good at is knowing when to call in an assist. Yeah. But maybe at the same time you can't really do that unless you've already you already know the moves. Uh, so. yeah. Well, so there's two there's two general ways that people use assists, and if you've never used them before, especially like it's a little it's a difficult to think about an extra variable right of another mm. character but one of the least complex ways to to think about them is like if you use an assist at the end of a combo sometimes it'll let you just extend that combo a little bit later mm -hmm. so if you were the type of person that said i'm not going to use it when nothing's happening randomly i'm mm -hmm. only going to use it after i land the first punch and right. i'm going to combo into my assist you'll know that'll be a consistent thing you know okay um and uh, yeah, like that's another layer again to think about as well once you once you start getting more uh, complex with it. Part of what was like kind of comfortable here was just like getting that pressure rhythm down. Mm -hmm. You're like, I knocked him down. I did the combo. Okay, next I'm gonna try to hit him again. If he flips mm -hmm. out, he, I'm gonna super dash up to him. You know, right? But you kind of like you got the the rhythm of that exchange going, and then like okay, switch it out, try to do it again, and. Um, once you get higher level, people will do things like that'll beat Super Dash. For example, Crouching Heavy Punch, like I said. Mm -hmm. uh, or like the real Big mm -hmm. Dick Gs will do a level three as soon as you start flying towards them. Right. You know? And like if you've got like amazing reactions, like that's that so looks awesome. I keep thinking about like 2D platformers mm -hmm. where enemies have invincible frames. Yeah. Because if not, it would just be A, 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 A. So they have to make them invincible. So yeah. what a lot of bosses in, I mean, even like, character action games, 2D platformers, Metroidvanias, they have to have invincible frames yeah. and they have to telegraph their attacks. So your job becomes, okay, don't get killed by this attack. Yeah. Hit them, then while they're invincible, start defending and prepare for whatever attack comes next. Yeah. So it creates that cadence. But in a fighting game, nobody has invincible frames. Not, not in the same way. You have many tons uh, instances yeah. of invincible okay. frames. But they're not as obvious as they are in like fl games where you get hit and you start flashing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but they absolutely are there. The difference is, is it's a risk if you choose you want to take them. Okay. So for example, um, a Shoryuken, mm -hmm. the reason why Shoryukens are so good is because the beginning, the moment you start it until like the hit comes out, mm -hmm. uh, you're completely invincible. Okay. And then after it goes through the motion and then you're in the air and you're coming back down now you can get hit again so like you have you have those first opening frames where nothing can touch you and if you're sure that they're about to do something within that 
for mm-hmm. the range of time, a sure you can will always win, and that's why it's such a good move. That's okay. what makes it strong. Um, but if they block it because they knew right. you were going to do it, you are now going to get punished with the biggest, heaviest thing they have. Starting it off with this perspective of, uh, okay, just learn to do this one thing, and it's the basic thing you need to do to beat the, like the first boss in the game or the, like the brain dead enemy. Mm-hmm. And you're like, great. And I can turn the difficulty down, so that's all I have to know how to do, and I can still have fun. Perfect. And then I can choose to like level up from there. Yep. And I'm, I'm happy, too, that we did go online because like by having just that familiarity and that game plan, like you're not just touching this game. Like You can play. You can do it. And yeah, I could go tomorrow and say, hey, do you want to play this? Yeah. I at least know how to not like, okay, where's the uh, order, order button? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, so that's 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 the beginning. Mm-hmm. That's all it takes. And then the journey continues from there. Happy to play. Yeah, man. I'm, 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 looks like you had fun. I'm glad you did. And uh, yeah, for anyone else that's out there that is, you know, on this journey as well, uh, that's, you know, kind of you've, you've touched a fighting game here and there, but uh, kind of trying to figure out what to do. I think that's a, a decent evening. You know, jump in, mm-hmm. press some buttons, check the tutorial out. Don't get overwhelmed. Like, it's it's a lot, but we're just going to pick a couple key things yeah. and try to get those things working in the match. Win or lose, doesn't matter. Did you get that combo working? Awesome. If not, okay, how are we going to work on that? And by setting these little goals, you know, I think that's a, a nice way to, like, um, keep it simple. And most importantly, just have fun with the character you pick. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know? If you're looking at it all as a list of, like, things you have to, like, homework to accomplish while you're not having fun with it, then, yeah, you're definitely going to bounce off of it, you know? Um, well, this was a better tutorial than the tutorial because, I like, so. I get it that it's built for people who might have never played a video game before, but, okay, I get back and forward and jump. Like, it's mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. What I need is a path forward. Mm-hmm. So, like, I would like a fighting game where the story mode was something where it's like, all right, this is how you win this match or you can do it however you want but we're going to specifically guide you and Mm -hmm. tell you what you should be doing now what we just did should be what the games do for you yes that's absolutely what it should be um but here's what i'll say is uh um a lot of the times like going to locals as mentioned is like it's like oh shit this is where all the fgc guys are gonna fucking body me and it's like that is what is happening when locals are doing their tournaments and stuff but when new players are coming and they're learning as um you're definitely going to see people that are willing to sit down show you the ropes you know it's a community and there's always going to be people that are like you know pretty low level that are learning they're around where you're at and there's going to be people that are like willing to take the time out to kind of show you some stuff so Mm -hmm. going out to local events is not just to like test your strength and find the rival it's it's also like to improve i just love seeing people starting and sticking to it yeah that's the best like it's so hard to like tell people in words why it's so fun mm. and you just have to get in there and try mm-hmm. that's all there is to it dude those wins were real they and, were real and you did some corner yeah. shit with boo that was like sick. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some of it was instinct and some of it's just like i'm just pressing it like halfway between button mashing and like i have to be doing something now and it's one of those things where i go like i've played fighting games before in my life but it's like i said it's like you're drunk at a party in your your 20s or you're bored after school uh you know so this kind of experience of like all right how do you play fighting games it's all about that moment when you're doing the air combo that you've done three other times before. But this time around, you're like, I feel comfortable enough to go for the super at the end of it. Yeah. Fuck it, let's just go for it. And it works. You're like, oh shit, like that. That is it, man. So good stuff. Thank you so much, Josh. You're welcome. We I was kind of half it. expecting people to be like, oh, oh, what is this guy doing? Like, <laughs> come on. No, well, listen, well, I'll say this, to be fair, in the entire time you've known me, like as someone who's like a fighting game guy, I've I've been I haven't how pushy have I been with it? In you oh, know what like I mean? Zero. Not at all, right? I you know so like if someone wants to comes up to me and goes, hey, I want to learn, I am right there ready to go and I'm exploding with the knowledge. But I I uh I ha- I do respect if someone just bounces off, which I've had friends that do so as well, you know. So that's that's important. Uh, Josh, I don't know if there's any. 
Uh, yeah, What's I'm not on social fans? media. I don't use Twitter. Uh, I you made have a... you have an itch.io. I do have an itch.io. Uh, I've made uh, some small games. If you'd like to check them out, they're free. If you want to give me money, eh, if you really want to give me money, but just have fun. And where is that? <laughs> that is a really good question. Uh, J S Feller. That's J S F E H L E R dot itch dot io. If you like it, leave a comment. Aside from that, you can't find me anywhere. There you go. Uh, you are an an indie game dev, JS. Legally speaking, I suppose at some point in the near future, or whenever, there might be some sort of uh, project to show. Maybe. And when the time comes, uh -huh. I suppose we'll crack that. We could that probably egg. do another podcast just about that <laughs> but not even about the story yeah. or the thing just about i hate artists so much oh god <laughs> i hate them so much oh please I, I love you and i want to give you money i want to give artists so much money uh, i don't have children i don't have a wife i have a good job i can give to, you money time to Why jump on the fucking ai generators <laughs> i gave the ai generator money because artists wouldn't let me. Oh, uh, god damn it. Okay. Well, uh, we might uh, we might have something cool to show in the future. So I'll, I'll tell you guys more about that when it's ready to announce. <laughs> or we might not. Might not. We might not have might anything not. to show. We'll see. But go to Josh's uh, itch.io page and try out his games. All right? We'll see you guys right. next time. Take care. Later, everybody. Have Peace. a good night.